Hey there! Welcome to our tutorial on how to add a language switcher to your WordPress site using Translate Press. Let's jump right in. Translate Press is a WordPress translation plugin you can use to quickly and accurately convert your web content into other languages. It's available for free in the WordPress plugin directory, so you can install and activate it right from your WordPress dashboard. We've covered how to translate your content as well as your theme in other tutorials. Instead, this video will focus on how to add a language switcher to your site. This is the little button or menu you see on some web pages that enables you to jump to the version of the site in your preferred language. Once you've translated your WordPress site, there are three ways you can add your language switcher, with a shortcode, as a menu item, or as a floating language selector. However, before we show you how to implement each of these options, let's take a look at a key setting you'll need to configure first. Navigate to Settings, Translate Press, and make sure you're in the General tab. Then scroll down to the Language Switcher settings. You'll see there's a drop-down menu for each of the three options we mentioned before. These enable you to customize the switcher's appearance. There are five options available. Full language names, short language names, flags with full language names, flags with short language names, or only flags. For the floating language selection option, you can also customize the theme, dark or light, and its location. Don't forget to click on the Save Changes button to submit your choices. Now we can get into actually displaying your language switcher. The first option is to use a shortcode. You can technically use this anywhere on your site, but we recommend putting it in a widget area, such as your footer or sidebar, so that it's always available to users. Navigate to Appearance, Widgets, and drag the text widget to the area where you want to display your switcher. Then enter the language switcher shortcode and click on Save. If you check this widget area on the front end, you should now see your language switcher. Option two is to add your language switcher as part of your primary navigation menu. Navigate to Appearance, Menus, and select your main menu for editing. In the list of items to the left, you should see a section called Language Switcher. If you expand this section, you'll see a list of the languages you've added to your site, as well as an item labeled Current Language. Select all of these options and click on Add to Menu. Then drag each of your language items under Current Language to make them sub-items in your menu. Finally, save your changes. On the front end, the current language will be visible in your main menu. If you hover over it, your language options will appear. Depending on your theme, you may be able to feature your language switcher in a sidebar or footer menu instead of at the top of the page. Last but not least, we have the floating language selector. This option makes it easy for your visitors to find your language options and select their preferences. Enabling it is easy. Just head back to the Translate Press general settings page we were on earlier and make sure the checkbox for this display is selected. Again, you can use the other options in this section to customize the floating language selector's appearance. There you have it! Three ways to add a language switcher to your WordPress site with Translate Press. Have questions? Check out our plugins documentation at translatepress.com. Bye for now!